I am Sosin, Faculty of Anthropology for UPSC. Welcome to Anthro Times. This is a special series that we have started to give a walkthrough of UPSC Anthropology syllabus. Let us continue with where we have stopped uh, in the last video, that is branches of anthropology and their relevance, their scope. In today's uh, talk, I am going to focus on biological anthropology. I am choosing biological anthropology for one specific reason. That is, there was a recent publication, namely, a most interesting problem, what Darwin's Descent of Man got right and wrong about human evolution. This was edited by Jeremy De Silva. Of course, we have a separate uh, talk about Darwin and how he was instrumental in emergence of anthropology, etc. Et so many things are there about Darwin that we will have to talk about. But here, I am restricting myself to the scope and what exactly we have to do in biological anthropology as a topic in UPSC. Now, when it comes to Darwin, he was instrumental in the earliest times. He inspired several scholars to bring the biological concepts to sociological world. Uh, to put it in simple words, uh, in the initial times, two major things were studied in biological anthropology. One was considering human as a biocultural organism, meaning a combination of biological and cultural factors, how they have made man what he is. This is man as a biological organism. Second thing is how man in a particular group or population is different from the other human populations. So, putting these two things together, the two things we studied, one is organic evolution. See, once again you are getting another new word, but let me explain that word here for especially the students coming from non-life sciences background. This must be mind-boggling for them. So, organic evolution is a species originating from the other. Right now, you just remember this. So, first one is biological organisms emerging through organic evolution and how human is actually a combination of biological and cultural entity. Second thing is how the human in one population is different from the human in the other population. That is where you must have come across this, uh, the topic of races. So, racial classification, this is one. These are the two the things that were there in the early times. But as the discipline evolved, more and more things started to get accumulated in the biological anthropology. But now biological anthropology has emerged as a very vibrant discipline. It now studies the fields ranging from human evolution to primatology to racial studies to blood group studies, application of anthropometry to sports, to defense, disease and cure across the culture groups, paternity diagnosis and that list is endless. This wide and beautiful branch should not be neglected by a student of anthropology. And as far as your reference books are concerned, I can recommend one book that is internationally known book, Physical Anthropology by Steen and Rovi. And as far as Indian reference is concerned, a very simple book of anthropology, physical anthropology by B. M. Das can be studied. Very shortly, I will join you with another interesting video uh, giving you a journey through UPSC anthropology.